I'm going to finish the review of this watch. Uh, here is the date and time. And I did adjust the watch nicely to, uh, to, to a date and time. 26 September 2024, uh, 55 seconds after 40 minutes. Let me see this here. If we can do it somehow like this. Yeah, it can be done. So as you see, it's synchronized to be to the to the last second right there, and we're gonna see what uh, what's happening with it. Um, yeah, so this is part two, and it's gonna be only dedicated to this watch. This watch, I. Uh, have for the first time seen this watch manufactured like it would be created already in 2011 uh, done created 2011 2010 psychiatrist cops slovenian police demonstrated the watch um, and i like the watch uh, after psychiatrist cops reminded me of, uh, I don't even know what the fuck he was doing with uh, with belts. Some of the belts that they sell at Temu, uh, all the belts were involved in it in MK Ultra, were actually really ugly. Uh, this was the only belt I liked it. Uh, low cost belt uh, for me. Uh, something like this was just the only option i didn't like other belts you got to watch out people because some belts I, I don't think they are so nice but okay it depends on the taste right and after he started to remind me of the torture which went on in front of the computer uh in front of the physical torture uh which psychiatrist cops police enforced together with the russians serbs uh, I didn't want to have the watch anymore. I didn't want I didn't like the watch now But how did I like the watch? What is the truth about this watch? This is the watch from Emmanuel Macron this watch This is the watch from Emmanuel Macron this watch the first time during MK Ultra this watch appeared in 2000 uh, as for Vladimir Putin decided he's gonna start to manufacture this watch in 2008 uh, after Emmanuel Macron appeared with his watch, Emmanuel Macron, uh, Emmanuel um, and so this was watch from Emmanuel Macron, this watch here, this. This was the watch from Emmanuel Macron. Um, he has um, one watch. Uh, this is his watch. Hell, man, are, are you gonna make me a hard time now with this? She is a clay snow. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a screenshot, people. So. Is he going to do it again? Okay, I think we are safe now. It's not going to do it again. Oh, cool. Um, two watches. Two, two watches. Uh, yeah, this one here, I, I never liked this. I, I didn't like that. Um, Emmanuel Macron watch. Uh, 2008 this year 2008 and um, on opportunity 2000 uh, Manuel uh, flashed this watch in 2007 2006 2006 he had this watch must have been 2006 no he actually got one i don't know what he said 
in 2004 or whatever. Yeah, something like that. He was very, very frequent visitor here. He would meet Putin. Uh, well, what's going on with the Putin? This I purchased from the Temo. Well, uh, it's about a uh, family known as a Bak Bakalchik. Tatiana Bakal Bakalchik. Bakalchik. Tatyanchka Bakalchikova and her husband. Okay. Um, Tatyanushka Bakalchikova became extremely, extremely important for the Russia. Yeah, Ali, Alibaba, AliExpress, Temu, which started to finally operate in 2022. Just two, two years ago, they, they officially appeared. So you, you're getting the taste of the two things. One thing is a schizophrenia issue with which Putin labeled me in 2012. And you're also getting the taste of reality when it comes to manufacturing products, launching super corporations, super companies, and the real ownership of who owns what. Uh, it's not only China that sells to Russia, it's also Russia that does business through the China. Russia is also using China to access foreign markets in this situation right now with invasion of Ukraine. That's basically the way it works. Seven children, oh, wow. no wonder. No wonder, I'm going to say. No wonder, but they're good for the lady. They're good. Um, she... How can I say? Became ambassador for the Russia. She brokered just through Chinese seeing themselves in Russia through her meeting her, you know, this is why Mr. Bakalchuk had a, such an important job. It was more, it was nothing just like this. Uh, this is what we are talking about. So Mr. Bakalchuk had a family, a jeweler, a jeweler in uh, the Moscow, a beautiful store I already spoke about, a jewel, jewel store, um, became advisor, this uh, jewelers became relatives of Bakalchuk, became advisors of Putin when it comes to these issues, which Putin brokered and brokered, occasionally of course, also stuff like that, inside of our house, literally, here in the city of the Novomist, I witnessed to that. Um, so, it just happened so that they became his advisors and were advising him on what kind of products they want, market, brand. So you're talking about the Temu ownership. Temu ownership is greatly, greatly owned by Putin and his associates. This you're talking about the Moscow big time here. Um, They got this store through this case, literally, through connections and so on. This jewelry store, uh, a building, and started to brand the stuff. I don't know. I have to see their family members. Okay. And um, these people are, uh, I'm talking about were involved since uh, they got this jewelry store sometimes in 92 and 93. And in 98, they started to torture me. 99, and in 2000, they no longer wanted to have anything with me. At the beginning, it was all about the friendship. They started to torture before already, because this was the money, this was their lifeline. Torture was a lifeline. Torture is a lifeline for the people that are doing the business. 
brokering the business. This is in today's world without the torture, you cannot get anywhere. What torture means is that you assume liability for the crime committed against somebody by your president, by whoever politician you torture in the name of. You understand? So you're very, very important. That's how you get connections done. That's how you get everything. I'm going to teach you how to kill people and make money the legal way. You get away with the torture, with the killing people. There's no problem at all. Watch my program and you're going to learn a lot. You can get a discounted real estate deals. You can get a discounted uh, rentals. You can get uh, jobs, careers, everything, everything you get. You can get women. You like the woman, you're going to get one. Anything. Okay? So you get to torture, kill people, and it's all good. It's all legal. It's no problem. It's no problem. Uh, you become important testament to a presence of some politician. And your pocket gets uh, filled with the money. So this watch here was brokered with the Chinese in 2008. Um, literally inside of our house, 2009, the deal was closed. It was an uh, idea they got was from uh, Putin already fulfilled everything when it comes to his requirements about uh, the watches that they wanted to manufacture. They will be like a Russian looking watches. Um, I was detailed about this watch here. This is the watch. Uh, this is the watch from the Vladimir Putin. Uh, since '96, he created this watch. I dedicate him a video. Uh, this watch again became a reduced price. <laughs> Uh, etc. etc. Um, it's called a blood watch. Uh, people were horrified when they see this watch. Uh, at first, it was a big excitement, uh, and then it was horrification, actually, especially because Putin really knew how to make people even more excited. It wasn't about the watch anymore, uh, it was already about other issues. You know, maybe with the watch, you should buy yourself also axe and gun. Uh, maybe you should offer here like $500 special and you include gun and axe and stuff like this inside and, you know, a top of the watch. You just come like an extra. So uh, this watch here met a competition. Uh, this was a Putin's watch. And here is my watch. This was my watch. This is my kind of watch that I wanted to, to create. This one, like this. Uh, my watch was just based simply on experience on the ship, ship experience. Um, as I worked on the ship, I would frequently get to watch um, this, you know, I would frequently get to watch this here. Uh, for many people, a blue horror. For me, just incomparable beauty. For me, this was just uh, incredible. I used to work at the board of this ship, Cruise Meridian. Sometimes it was uh, really rough waters. We would have tables. I would be serving in a dining room. You would have a tables and chairs flying across the, across the uh, dining room and stuff like that. Even that kind of stuff we had going on. And to me, because I grew up on the river, oh, that was just, just really, I'm not going to say fun, but I enjoyed it so much. For me, it was like the most beautiful experience, you know. Uh, just working on that ship, looking at the water around me, uh, regardless of how the tough job was, you know, I just was well, just watching this stuff. To me, well, this was just a blessing. Uh, rain, 
uh, rain incredible uh, it was just incredible experience how much beautiful is for me the time that i spent on the ship is just unbelievable i really really uh, enjoyed uh, sighting the the water the you know for me this was incredible simple as this you know i heard that some people live in the ship uh, i would definitely absolutely i would not mind uh, you know uh, and the problem is because you know the shit is sailing back and forth uh, and so yeah but you know there is maybe some time that you can really it's it's incredible you know so i was inspired contrary to the vladimir putin his blood watch this kind of watch and i'm sure that you notice that it's brighter in the middle and darker in the on the edge uh, I was since I created this kind of watch in 19 during MK Ultra. I uh, I envisioned the watch like this for me to be. I wanted to create my own uh, like this. That's I name it the Ocean Watch. This watch is gonna go to uh, 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 no, it's gonna go away and I'm gonna do it again uh it's not good enough it doesn't it doesn't fulfill my requirements although it's beautiful it's really really beautiful but still uh it's not good enough simply it's not good enough it's not fulfilling my requirements to the degree i would be satisfied with this because i really like the watch that is you know that is really really perfect so it's gonna look like this um Prince Charles, now King Charles, gave me uh, a compliment uh, stating that he doesn't like Putin watch. Uh, he stated that he thousand times more prefer my watch. And I told him, why would you prefer my watch? I mean, that's a Putin. I mean, nobody gave anything shit on me anyways. Like who the fuck I was, you know? And uh, this is one of the compliments that I got from Prince Charles, now King Charles. Eventually, Emmanuel Macron proceeded in... Uh, uh, really, this French guy, I like him. I, I, cannot, I cannot allow myself to like him too much because he is... Uh, um, he gets too smart. He will quickly figure out uh, how to use... Uh, my liking him to satisfy uh, British royals. Now he would probably not do this stuff, but the thing is that uh, they will do something to him, and he will become, uh, you know, uh, the best thing is just, uh, you know, like this. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and other things too. But the thing is that, uh, uh, you know, whoever came close to me especially women that that the women expressed interest in me and I, that i was crazy about women there were so many beautiful women in this mk ultra you know um many of which were porn stars and many of them i don't understand why but i i don't even understand why but they get uh, attached to me not because only because of this movie projects they were doing and it was lucrative but I don't understand women really. Women are just, you know, um, they uh, they have seen something in it that was just, I don't know, attractive to them, whatever. I don't even understand what. Uh, maybe that's what. And so, uh, he created, Macron created, uh, created uh, this kind of watch. I think he created one because I, I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know. Uh, he testified, Macron testified to all this stuff in uh, 96, 95, started to play with the watches. He testified to all this stuff. So that he would not create the watch like this, which is actually a blood watch from Putin, except that it's nice, beautiful and blue. Uh, he's got something like uh, different stuff inside in it, like whatever fingerprints and stuff. He'll keep me updated about all his watches and stuff like that. All right, this is his aristocratic watch. 
uh, just he, he claimed so that he would honor me. Um, I don't know, man. These are really, really such a big compliments on the other hand. Uh, you know, what can I say? I mean, what can I say? Look at me. I mean, <laughs> uh, my life was not a rose, you know. So um, politicians would do all kinds of stuff for obvious reasons. But this guy uh, even sticked with uh, with uh, with uh, Brigitte Macron, which is a much older lady than he is, uh, to fit identical situation to mine. Uh, I was married to Ecuadorian uh, lady uh, from Quito, uh, much much older than myself, and uh, she was Indian native and really from Ecuador. Um, and again, to, to, to help me out, Macron uh, stick uh, to, to Brigitte. Now, he's a gentleman anyways. There's a, he's a lot of reasons to like this Macron anyways. Uh, um, so I even have to like him. So, see, this is no good because, like, like I mentioned for the ladies, the British royals immediately figure out how to get interest out of it. And I will not allow anybody to... This is what the problem is. If you want to have a friend, you cannot signal this scum from London. Anything, because they put their fingers in between immediately. And the same thing is with the lady, whoever was involved in MKUltra. Immediately they put the hands in it. They went ahead and even destroyed it women and s started to select women for me and stuff according to their needs and so on and so forth i don't like that and let's just say my needs but under what kind of circumstances how, for what cost basically would i go and award people like this with even what would be a friendship or maybe even more i don't do this so anyhow, okay, anyhow, all right, so this is, this is a Manuel Macron watch, except that I do not choose the, the blue one. Now, my style always was like this. My style was not gold, and my style was not silver. Uh, my style was just gold and silver. Uh, some people liked uh, gold. Uh, other people like uh, white gold, they were saying, to me, no, 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 but get yourself a white gold. And I was, no, I'm no, 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 I just want silver and gold combination. This is just always was my, uh, my, my way of seeing world. So just I'm giving you a little background about where this kind of watch is coming from. Uh, and no, this is not where this watch is coming from. Uh, they made this watch already. Um, they made others made this watch already. Uh, Macron made Macron had a people. They would they, he, they would even make watch for him and stuff like this. Jewelers, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, you know, uh, royals are very much involved in in watch business, manufacturing, and also cars. Uh, one of the things that uh, Macron managed is to basically turn French car industry really into a super machinery. I mean, behind the Renault cars uh, that you see these days, and I think they're extremely successful, beginning with the Renault Clio, and, uh, you know, all these cars that you see, um, it was, believe it or not, as crazy as my sound, a lot had to do with Emmanuel Macron. Uh, choosing the designs, uh, asking, talking to people and so on. Something that they told me in France uh, is like a requirement for anyone to become a president. That you have to demonstrate certain virtues to other politicians, that they have to be simply superior. Uh, some kind of sign of intellect or whatever. So Macron did a lot of that stuff and his models uh, just have proven that he has a very strong sense, uh, the ability to, to choose, uh, you know, things that appear to the people anyhow.
<sighs> so I told you what I did not told you is in Moscow after they told me these things uh, um, it was even worse that would take place. A psychiatrist cop would go and he would say, well, with the Russians, well, but you know, uh, you know, do you like the watch? Yeah, of course I like the watch. It's the fucking watch that, uh, you know, was my kind of watch, silver this and that, you know. I show him on a fucking computer how I want, what I like, interrogation. Uh, and then they, they tell me, then they told me, uh, it's a uh, Russian and this and that and you don't like it remember you don't like this uh, bracelet and this and that and so on so You ask me basically to tell me that I don't like it So now you're telling me already that stuff that you you get based on interrogation that I don't like so I send the watch to the motherfucker land uh, he demonstrated to me one once, uh, twice, three, four fucking times, beautiful, this beautiful watch in 2011, I loved it, and then he did exactly what I told you, and I didn't want to see the motherfucker watch anymore, I told him, you take your fucking watch and get out of my face, you motherfucker, you and your fucking watch and everything, uh, the next thing you see in 2012, uh, they get me here in Moscow, uh, I am driving inside of the car, they, they, they had me in the car, Russians, uh, and started to shizo, shizoid, you know, start to shiz it, uh, telling me, well, you know, what do you do like about this watch, you know, this is, look how beautiful the watch, so they were, uh, Ruskies were selling uh, the love for the whatever whoever was to manufacture this obviously I told you Chinese to Chinese basically using me to demonstrate that they are smarter uh, that they know better uh, and that uh, they are pro Chinese uh, and uh, etc 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 this is how the scum was doing business. This is a schizophrenia. That's why the schizophrenia is so super. It pays so off because you get to kill person using him before the, you kill him for exactly what I described you. Business. Obviously, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I would say to it. Uh, maybe in the third world they still do the stuff like this or something like that. People love to shizhenye. Shiza is good, I guess. It's a good business. You can sell lice pretty good. And that's all the fuck there was. The blood watch is doing really good in Ukraine. Um, Vladimir Putin in 2008, another important fact about this watch in 2008 and 2009, when he was doing this stuff, and he demonstrated me watch, he would he was doing the same kind of shiza he was he she is she she's you in our, in our house like insane in front of chinese are claiming hey, which one which one you don't like you don't like you don't like you don't like he was showing me the watches based on which torture already took place in the past that's how he wanted in front of chinese whatever and then he came to this watch yeah this one i like no, you, you already said you don't like. Yeah, you know, this is the way the fuck it was. Uh, he said this one, and, and he tested again, and he tested me again, and every time was, yes, I like, yes, I like. And the next thing you see is, all the watches he was, the name was Orus. You know, if you go to, if you go to, uh, if you go to this, if you go to this uh, Temo site, it's it's Oros. They sell a lot of this Oros watch, you know, Oros. Uh, well, exactly this watch I am talking about was uh, was still without the name. It still didn't have the name on it. So he was really choosing what to do with these watches, you know, that these jewelers. 
uh, this Russian jewelers uh, manufacture everything is Oros, you know, Oros. Not Oris. This, this, is, this is the Russian way uh, to imitate. Uh, they got the idea from Swiss company Oris, you know. But Oros, you know. I suggest you, if you're going to buy the watch from Temu or you're going to buy the watch from AliExpress or whatever the fuck you're going to do, don't buy the fucking Oros. Uh, buy, if you're going to buy one, buy yourself a, this one here, Vokai. Buy this one here, Vokai. Uh, not saying that this could not be also uh, a Putin watch. I don't know. Uh, because Putin stated uh, that it's not the Oros that is his watch, but it's going to be the Vokai. I don't believe him. I don't believe the fucker. I don't believe him anything. So if you will buy the watch, uh, I go for Vokai. And uh, seriously, uh, because they're the same watches, uh, Oros, right? Oros and Oris. This was a big deal uh, with the Russians shaking in anger how they're going to fuck Swiss. How they will create uh, and it's going to be, they dreamed about since the beginning of the time how they're going to fuck Switzerland. Swiss manufacturer, this one here. They were using Swiss and Germans together with Milan Kochan. You don't know what kind of hatred this is. I mean, you would have to participate, see it with your own eyes to understand this. It's actually impossible to explain. It's impossible to explain this shit. Totally impossible to explain. That's hatred that is immeasurable, literally immeasurable hatred. That's Oris, and yeah, Oris is a Swiss watch. Swiss watches are not cheap, they're expensive. I am not even defending them. I'm not saying that you should go and buy yourself an Oris or whatever. Like I demonstrated, this watch is really, really beautiful. Uh, and it sells now on Temo for just $5 and a half. Uh, actually, 5 euros and a half. And it's a really beautiful watch. Uh, I am just saying that... I am just saying that... Uh, You don't need to be a son of a bitch and destroy somebody uh, for having his own design, having his own name, having his own reputation. You know, this is this communist motherfuckers. Um, they think that uh, the technology that is inside of the watch, which is actually Chinese made, is just something they invented. When, in fact, if we would depend on a communist technology, it's already something I have already explained to you, pointed you out. They were making the same fucking car for 50 years when I think about this Ladas and shit. And... It, they impoverished in China was so impoverished they could not even afford stuff like this. It was so difficult in China. And I'm not saying that that I am not saying that China could not do this. I am not saying that China uh, I'm not saying that China is uh, that something in a sense of the communism is wrong with the China. That's not what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, I am just saying that we need to be realistic about it. A Rolex, I don't like it at all. I would not go and buy fucking Rolex. Man, if you give me one for free, I would not want to have one. You understand? I dislike a Rolex, but not because it's a extremely expensive, uh, le levitious, uh, wasteful financially watch, uh, but simply because of the way they mistreated me, because the way they treated me. 
because they joined, because they gave the support to the communists in a genocide against me. They joined the powers with the communists to destroy me. So when you have such a wealthy people, like uh, people that manufacture Rolls Royce, um, you know, Rolex, partnering together with the yeah, Chinese boosted Russians and Serbs. Um, even it was not really a Chinese that would, I didn't feel it was Chinese that wanted to kill me. Uh, I felt it was, um, you know, they gave, they gave too much support to the Russians and Serbs. But we're talking here about the Russians and Serbs. We're not even talking about really communism, we're talking about really Russians and Serbs. We have to be about the Russians and Serbs, but you know, you're going to support this, you're going to support them, you know, I'm going to go after you, I don't care who the fuck you are. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you in the same fucking rank like them. I'm going to get you in front of the world, I'm going to pull your masks down, your pants down in front of the world, so the world is going to see you, the way you did with me during MK Ultra. It's going to be worse. I don't care who you are. And so the thing about it is that you, um, the car that you see right there is not a bad car. Any fucking car is a good car because it's a progress. It means a progress, you know. This is not a horse. This is not a, somebody who, with a carriage that is pulling somebody on the road you know, attached to his belly, waist, and is pushing. Um, this is car. You know, if it wasn't be a Rolex, if it wasn't be Swiss watches, Swiss watch machinery, we practically would not have any fucking watches. We could walk around with a fucking sand watch. You know, um, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, um, Casio, Seiko, Swiss watches, you know, Casio and Seiko and all this. I don't know, but the Swiss, I think, were the first with this in Seiko and so on. I don't know. I didn't study that much, this stuff. But you, 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 you don't go and, you know, Seiko and Casio are extremely, I'm not going to say budget, but, you know, in a class of working people for people, you know, that you can afford something luxurious actually in your hand. You don't have to shy from those that have much more money that you have or whatever. You know, it's a really, I'm not going to say affordable quality, but affordable luxury. Both of these companies are really outstanding, you know. And uh, this is not against China for me to clarify myself. It's just that China has got all the technology necessary to assemble the, the stuff from Japanese and from the Swiss. And the thing about it is, Chinese don't have a problem. Chinese don't have a problem with the Swiss, and nor they have a problem with the Japanese. It's the fucking Russian that was always going and steering the shit, making schizophrenia business. Everything about the Ruski is about the Shizo. Shizoids. Everything was about the Shiza. Everything was about violence and trying to pull Chinese in the shit as much as possible in the hatred, basically. In a hatred, they always try to turn them into hatred so they could feel that, you know, like, fuck you, you know, fuck you, like, toxic, 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 you know. Uh, you know, uh, this guy made a, this guy made an excellent song here, which they would play to me over and over and over again, talking about the police criminals, criminals employed by the Novo Mesto police station. I told you about the assassins, murderers at work. Rage against the machine. At this, they really, really prided themselves with this. Uh, it's, it's this toxic shit. Toxic stuff, anger, outburst, you know? And that's how the Russians wanted to handle also Chinese, like animals, you know? 
uh, you know, fuck you, you know, fuck you, Switzerland, fuck you, Japan, fuck you, uh, fuck you this, fuck you, Casio, fuck you, Seiko, fuck you, uh, fuck you, every Swiss company, fuck you, this, fuck you, I don't know what, fuck you. Uh, fuck your expensive clothing, fuck your uh, whatever, fuck you. And so I was prohibited from wearing uh, Nike. They would go and they would cut me with the knife. Nike shoes, I would go. Uh, you don't know what kind of anger, rage they stress on me. When I had Nike shoes, uh, talking about the Robert Golop, talking about the Robert Golop, who flashed around with a luxurious Audi SUV, with, uh, with uh, Volvo SUVs and so on, flashed with the money, with the luxury. Uh, it, talking to me about uh, cheap shoes, you know, cheap, cheap, you know, you can cheap, you know, you can fix the watch. You can fix the watch. It went up destroying Mikasio watches and shit, destroying absolutely everything, destroying destroy 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 uh destroy destroy it became like a culture of annihilation destruction lies destroying hurting basically joy this is russia this is russia you don't know russia if you didn't watch my program you don't know nothing about russia if you didn't watch my program that's why i told you till they're gonna get punished more punished than what they did during the world war ii their collective conscience never ever will wake up. I don't see the purpose in destroying companies that are that are representing luxurious, pro, uh, you know. Oh, oh, you like Ferrari. Oh, you like Lamborghini. Oh, you like uh, you like this. You like this garbage. It's a garbage. You so much money. You like the Castle, you like the Rolls Royce, you like the Jaguar, you like all this, yeah, you like it, you like it. All they want to do is they want to, they want, they wanted to pull my heart out, they want to destroy my kidneys, my liver, they wanted to kill me, basically. You don't know nothing about the ZZ, about the Russia, if you didn't watch my program. But the point here is, why do you want to destroy all this? Why do you want to destroy everything that is German and Swiss and whatever? What is it with you that you that urges you so much to destroy Nike? And I don't know, Hewlett Packard and everything substitute, you know, with the cheaper, with the cheaper, with the cheaper, with the cheaper. And the cheaper is basically made in China uh, with a sticker of Oros or uh, you know, whatever, a Russian brand, they want to appear on it and so on. But why, why are you so obsessed by destroying the, tech, you know, companies of those, it's, you know, it's not easy for them. They don't sell anywhere near as many products as they did in the past. But why, why destroy them? Why annihilate them? Why kill them? Simply why? Why doing this? I mean, if it wasn't for them, It's like your father, let's say, or mother teaching you certain things in life that otherwise, if you wouldn't have them, you would have to come to them by yourself. Um, you understand me? If you wanted to accomplish them, or let's say you're going through the certain steps in life, process, school, uh, and then factory, or, or whatever you're doing, creating whatever, um, and just, you know, simply, you know, would you go and punish yourself for something for your for accomplishments, you know, somebody that comes, you know, or you may be copying somebody, everybody's copying in this world, everybody, we live in this kind of world that, that people copy one another, people don't want to manufacture people just want to get people just want to put the stickers on others products, basically tell them what they want, and sell. Yeah, they, sell, they say sell themselves, but in reality, it's a theft. It's a copyright theft. They, they, they steal all the time. But, but why, why would you want to go and destroy those that created certain inventions, certain technologies for certain mechanism, for certain things to function, to, you know what I mean? Why, why, why such an obsession with, with doing stuff like this? I never understood this. I never understood. You don't have to buy Ferrari. You don't have to go and buy Lamborghini. You don't have to go and buy 
Porsche, you don't have to go buy this BMW, Mercedes, or whatever the fuck. You, you, nobody told you you have to do this. No, why this kind of obsession that that is just whatever is you know expensive is from the Western. You know, it's like uh, you know with such a, you know hatred, disdain. It's impossible to actually explain this stuff. So. I found myself here in this in Moscow driving with this people inside and they were just again the same shit. I like the watch and it was the same thing. It was again it was this schizophrenia they started that I don't like one that is nothing nothing is wrong with the watch. I didn't even fucking say it was wrong with the watch motherfucker. I didn't say the motherfucker it was anything wrong with the watch. Why the fuck uh, wrong with the watch and this and that? And they told me you're gonna be if you if if you will ever buy one, then you will have one. And so I know for sure that this is the watch. I know for sure that this is the watch I am talking about. You know why? I know for sure because of this. I know for sure because when I look at it like this, the date, you see the date? The date is not straight. You see it? Let me demonstrate you. It's not like this. This is converted watch. I converted this watch. I, I took the file and I and I just went ahead and I converted one. It's not straight, you see? Uh, but this is a mechanism. So uh, I know the mechanism is the same one as it was. I know this is the same mechanism, and this me or they have done something to the mechanism so that it would not display. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. So they would not display exactly. So this is one of the things I know. The second thing I know is because I recognize that the watch has certain things here on the side. They also show me this watch is not new. This watch is. This watch was worn even by the Russians, uh, was absolutely was worn even by the Russians, but yeah, for the price I got, for everything I got, it's, it's a really, really hot bargain, you know, and really, if the worst comes to worst, I'm just going to go and I'm going to exchange the mechanism inside, maybe even with the Miyota, with the Japanese, whatever. This is just to explain you in part number two. What the fuck went on? Now there is something else I have misstated terribly. Made a mistake in a part in a video part number one. I stated this thing here. I stated that I stated that this watch goes wrong for I don't know how many seconds every day. This watch. This watch uh, doesn't go wrong for I don't know how many seconds every day. Yeah, that's just not the case. I'm going to reload the page. So this is what it is. It goes wrong for about, I don't know. Um, what is this here? 45 maybe seconds. Um, accumulated in within like... I offered this watch to my mother about probably uh, over a month and a half ago. So this is not so bad. I don't know what they have done to the watch, but when I got the watch, this watch was a piece of shit. The watch was going wrong for about um, at least 20 seconds per day, something like that. 15 seconds a day, 20 seconds per day. And it was exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. If you will, uh, uh, however, offer this watch to the mother, we will do something to the watch and you will lose the proof. I have no idea what they have done to the watch. I did offer the watch to the mother. Um, and um, mother didn't want. I even created for her a special uh, strap. So easy to just attach. Uh, adjusted to the strap the light 
to this kind of light pink like this for the ladies she didn't want it and so then i keep it but they told me if you will offer this to mom we're going to do something to the watch and you're going to lose the proof about it and uh, they really have done something to it uh, something enough so that i no longer have the proof about just how wrong the time was on this watch i don't know what they have done it but the watch was totally fucked up i don't understand whether they switched the watch or is this still the same watch i gave it to the mother and mother the next day brought it back to me she didn't want the watch this is the way it was which i prepared for her for her to have it so just so you know about all that stuff how how it went so in a part number one i made a mistake well, this is a very good watch actually i really like this watch tremendous watch uh if i had two watches like this already i wouldn't buy another one but the way they have done it was in a such a way that every watch that was really good watch that was to make a difference they would not even deliver one yeah they would not even deliver me the mechanisms for the i ordered six mechanisms seven i don't know how many mechanisms i ordered for for uh, like this with the with the day and date uh, they delivered two of them and i don't know that's one this one is working really good but is without the seconds marker um yeah this is gonna be the watch i'm gonna once i fix this stuff i convert it from you know watch and then it's gonna be it's gonna work just like this this is this is how it is this is how it works this is my kind of a blood watch if you want here is the bobby is blood watch if you like the blood watch this is my kind of blood watch there is no blood in it but the ocean is i love the ocean i love the ocean and so um this was one my kind of watch my way of doing the things um and uh it's regretful that things turned out to be this way uh but i didn't do them i didn't do the things like that i didn't do things other people did it and they left me no choice it's stupid i, I you don't know how many times i asked myself why um uh, and the only thing that happened is when i when i paid attention to it i, I started to really trace stuff that i would not want you know to to be seen i was so much looking forward to uh, a friendship fraternity with uh, british royals with many political figures uh you know as they all acted like they're in a game and they had to be like that i had to take this kind of role so they could help me out you know sorry it wasn't exactly like this it was different and well there's one thing i there's nothing to regret when there is nothing out there there's nothing to regret it's this is not okay it's not good uh, today i even posted here about malnutrition in game i it's another video that i have to post about malnutrition it was all about the unicef beginning beginning the 96 all this uh, 89 it was in slovenia was insane all the time unicef unicef for the africa contribute for the africa and uh yeah that's fine if you want to contribute to the africa sure i contributed to the africa we collected the money in the school i was taking the money to the school my schoolmates can tell that i contributed regularly to the unicef in the school actually maybe i was even maybe one of the biggest contributors i put even to shame other school kids but the thing is that, uh, you know, this turned into something else, man. It turned into some kind of a different game. This was, uh, this is about something completely different. This is again about saying that I did something that, that I was in something that I had nothing to do with it. And it doesn't really, during MK Ultra, it doesn't matter what the fuck you say. If you, if, you know, if I survived because... I use physical force only when it really mattered, when it really, 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 really mattered, or you know, when I no longer could take and it was more than established. 
that abuse crime was heavy and repeatedly took place. Uh, otherwise, I, they, they wanted to burn me out. I could have a physical fight with every individual in this world. It would not work out. They would lynch me. They would put me in a fucking... In a, they would turn me into a dust. It's the same shit. They, I'm talking about the physical fights here. I had a million opportunities with a million different people to get into the physical fight during MK Ultra. The thing is that this is not affordable. It's not possible. And sooner than later, they kill you. All they do is they get somebody new in the picture who will say afterwards, well, I, I didn't know, whatever, or whatever, and you're dead. They do this. People wake up dead all the time during MK Ultra, if you understand me what I'm trying to say. And the other side and the other world, at the end of the tunnel, born again, basically, all the fucking time, all the fucking time. I didn't want it to be another casualty. I didn't want to be statistic because it was too important stuff. I was too important person during MK Ultra to become a statistic for some royal to turn me into statistic. I didn't want to become one. When I'm talking about the arguments, because we are talking about this video in our, about arguments, you know, talking about the arguments. We're talking about the arguments. I could, I, 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 they wouldn't even allow me to argue. They didn't want to, they didn't allow me to use brain. Do you understand? They didn't allow me to express myself. So I became really good at processing thoughts and saving basically operated on a low energy processor extremely efficiently without giving myself out anymore to, you know, it was time when it was fight and fight and fight, but, you know, and arguments and shit, but, you know, it's, it, 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 it's different when you see that your friends, you know, your supporters, your royals stab you in the back like this. It's a different thing. It's a different course you take. It's no longer the same thing because clearly it doesn't pay off. Because clearly, even if you're right, they're going to run you over. So what you do is you start to aim for the opportunity for the time when it's actually going to be worthy to make argument, if ever. That's all I wanted to say in the part number two. I'm not going to go and open this watch. Probably would pay off to, to open it up. Uh, whenever I'm going to open up, whatever, you can, you can trust my word. Uh, my word. Uh, and then we're going to see what exactly is inside of the watch, how things are. Okay? That's all there is. Thank you very much for watching this video. This watch, very good. One month and a half, uh, I don't know, 45 seconds. That's very, very good. Very, very acceptable. But what I really like uh, is the way you see on this watch. Uh, one thing that I don't like about the watch is this. Uh, do you see the edge here in the numbers? That makes the uh, uh, watch extremely, extremely ugly. The clean look uh, of the watch, of the digital watch, is this. When you have the numbers floating clearly, uh, black on the white, clearly you can clearly you can see everything nicely, you can see it. This is the way I like. This is for me electronic watch. Uh, never like the watches that are squeezed inside, that is squeezed, the numbers are squeezed and stuff. Never like that. I like clean look, nice, clean, no shadow. You see it's a shadow. Try to stay away from the shadow. Don't buy a watch that will throw the shadow on the, on the main display. Always try to make sure that the digital display is big enough to accommodate clearly clean numbers that you can see. Highly recommend this. Beautiful watch. You can change the colors on this watch. This is a Chinese watch. And this is also a Chinese watch. I never mind promoting China. I like China but not the way it is like this uh this kind of china nobody wants that uh, you know that we will hear no this kind of stuff this is not affordable for anybody this is the same kind of china that we have seen with the nazi germany 
80 years ago. I extremely, extremely regret one. I extremely, extremely regret. I read that 60% of the of the parts uh, found in a foreign uh, components, basically used in a Russian arsenal, military arsenal, 60% of them, whatever was manufactured abroad, uh, it's all from China. 60% of it. We, you know, I really, really regret it. I regret it because they work so hard. Uh, they got such a big assistance, you know, technological, you know, all this, you know. Um, the world basically welcomed them, you know. Uh, they wanted China, they wanted to, you know. What, what the fuck do you think, Chinese, that uh, you think that Americans and uh, Europeans couldn't start to manufacture in Africa or in South America? Or in India? Why do you think the fuck they have chosen you? I mean, and, and so on and so forth. Where the fuck you get all this kind of Ruski, Russian, uh, this, you know, wh where, where do you get this shit from? Where do you get the stuff like this from that you get yourself in a stuff like this with Ukrainian people and stuff? What the fuck? I mean, what is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? I am, I am simply, I am shocked. I am completely shocked about this. I'm confused because... And it come and it came in a in a worse moment when I started to promote you and stuff and, and this kind of stuff. Doesn't matter. Vladimir Putin, however, in a moment, he couldn't convince me anymore that I would not purchase the watch like this in the future. Went ahead and made sure there would not be written Orus. This watch was designed for the Orus. Yes? And he, however, made sure it would be the name De Bilve, which he translated in his from Slovenian language as Debil. Debil, Debil is Debil is this here. I don't know. The Bill. Uh, the Bill is a fool. The Bill. Slovenian. That's a fool. The Bill. Um, Ruski Russian uh, is Durak. Um, well, Russians also, I heard them saying the bill also. Yeah, I heard them saying also the bill, using this word the bill. So he put the bill there. Uh, I like it. Uh, police told me to modify, to do all kinds of stuff on it. I would not modify on this watch shit. I would not modify on this watch shit. Uh, I was going to go, and I have seen others. Once I, I did it, I realized it was others already who had the same idea. And uh, magnify this. The uh, odds inside with uh, an orange color all around them. This was my idea that I would go with their orange, that I would make them more visible with the orange. Everything that is gold, I would go around with the orange, which would make the watch really, really exceptionally beautiful. But this watch is beautiful enough for me to not absolutely change anything. It does uh, standards when it comes to them. It fulfills them. Another uh, thing, why I know that this watch was involved in MK Ultra, this absolutely is MK Ultra watch that Russians already drove with one in 2012 with me in the car in Moscow is this number here, number three. Look at it. Do you see it? Okay. I guarantee you that it doesn't come on in uh, manufacturing. Uh, let me get to the microscope so that you can see it. I told you already in video number one, I pointed you this out. Look at it. No, I did not open it and did not change it. Look at it. This is the same watch from 
2012. Just like I told you, this is an MK Ultra watch. I remember this thing, so I would never ever make mistake about it. Never I would go wrong with it. I like it because uh, at least I will know it's my watch. So if next time I put a Miota mechanism inside or whatever, I am going to know it will be my watch. Uh, Putin did not give up on it, on this watch. Putin did not give up on it. And uh, he, he admitted it was a beautiful watch, if I would ever get one. Uh, they didn't believe I would ever get this watch. They didn't believe that I would get this watch. The build, the builder. Yeah, you know, I am quite happy with my uh, being the bill. It's okay. Just remember who the fuck I am. Um, uh, he just killed the mosquito. He wanted to uh, eat, suck the blood from the bilve. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say about it. It was quite important issue, but... Yeah, this is it. I don't have anything else I would say to this stuff. Good enough. Good, 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 good enough. Um, more, more, more than good enough. More than what I would possibly imagine I could get. Yeah, I would say highly recommend. Um, oh yeah, the Putin, the Putin uh, had the last word about this watch. And it's what also fuck Putin. Putin made a big mistake when he stated to me, well, you know what? Uh, he became sick because of this watch. Uh, this is the watch that made uh, Putin sick. Really, really sick, this watch. Uh, so, uh, this is the watch that, that fucked Putin really big time. Yeah, the problem charging the phone. This is the watch that fucked Putin because Putin stated... Well, he became so miserable, so obsessed with anything that I wished for during MK Ultra that was involved in it and that I'm going to have with idea for me not to have it. And it, 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 it even exposed one even more how sick he was because I didn't have nothing in my life. I had absolutely nothing. <laughs> the fucker had absolutely everything in this world that he could wish for. He didn't know what to do with the money, with everything. I had nothing. Yeah, he was the most miserable world, individual in the world. If only he would see me that I would want something, that it was something that existed that was affordable for me. He lost, he was losing his mind. And he was indifferent with his watch, for which he said, is he going to buy this watch? I'm going to make sure that uh, the engine inside is not going to work. So the engine, the movement inside, in other words. I have to see how that will work out. But Putin threatened me that he he just, he, he was all red during MK Ultra on occasion in my room. He was like boiling, I don't know what we have. But he pulled aside, you know, and we, you know, Slovenian police. That's why I said it was a Slovenian police that opened this package. It was a Slovenian police that opened this package. I don't think this package was opened in China, whatever, or that Chinese sent this. This was a police, Slovenian police, that opened it up right here in Slovenia. Even that Chinese did such a stuff for the Slovenian police. They did send from China merchandise that was pre-packaged, pre-ordered ready before it was even from the Chinese warehouse they had already. I explained the issue about the Chinese merchandise, how the police, Slovenian police and the Chinese started to pile up all kinds of defective merchandise, expecting me that I'm gonna start ordering from the internet so they could ship to me, low cost merchandise. I told you about these things, about the stuff that was involved in MK Ultra. And this completes the video. Yeah, once, once I recall the Putin, how miserable he was, because of this watch, exactly because of this watch. I mentioned it also on the internet, how Putin went completely insane when he realized that it would be, I would be uh, 
It was something that he couldn't stand that I would have anything, any kind of watch. I mentioned it on the internet. Yeah, I mentioned it somewhere on the internet. I'm just saying right now, I don't know where that, that stuff is. I would have to go over here and uh, find this stuff. But um, he screwed himself up because it reminded me, it, it well reminded me about who this guy was, what, what, how sick he was in respect to anything I would have, how, how, how it hurt him, how he was hurt that anything I would have literally pertaining to this watch, even to the fucking watch, he couldn't stand that I would have something that would be decent. He could not stand. Maybe because I would profit from within, from his product or whatever, but this is the way it was. Am I gonna make it with this one here? No. No. No.